There's the show. There's the shit. Turnkey investors. There is another way. You can actually buy properties passively out of state for cheaper. I'm doing it for my man Andy right now. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise. I'm your host, and today's show is all about my dude Andy, right? Andy is a pharmacist uh, from Oregon, and his investment motto is YOLO, motherfuckers. This dude is a young guy, very aggressive, very aggressive investor, right? He wants to get in the game. Andy, you want to get in the game. You're not afraid to take on some risk. You want to build yourself a large portfolio. And being a pharmacist, you're actually a pharmacy manager. That's that's great W-2 income, right? So you can weather the storms. You can scale up uh, quickly, right? You don't need to live off this cash flow, right? What you want to do right now is just acquire, 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 continue working that day job, right? Because you went to school for at least six years to get that job, brother. Uh, so continue using your time in the highest and best way possible, which is working as a pharmacy manager, right? Because there ain't, there ain't too many W-2 to income jobs out there that pay that well, right? And then utilize that additional capital to build yourself and your family a long-term future, right? And if you run into uh, some issues, right? Uh, bad tenants, you could weather that storm, right? Because we're going to spread out your risk, right, by having a big portfolio. So if you got 30 properties and three are running right crap because your tenants are on my Tenants from Hell show just doing crazy shit because that's what they do, you should have 27 other ones uh, that are, you know, keeping everything afloat, right? So with all that said, brother, this is one I thought you would like quite a bit. 3392 West 49th, Cleveland, 44102, listed under a month ago. $69,900, right? Now, what you see here, we have uh, some photos of uh, the vacant unit, and I just want to spruce it up, okay? Nothing like too bad, but it's just kind of like dull, and these are the photos, right? The photos are taken from kind of far away, so I'm sure if you go up there up close, it probably needs some love. I'm sure there's scuffs on the walls, and I don't like to see things where they paint the trim the exact same color as the wall. That's very cheap. You're going to get a very low-end tenant doing that, right? So I have budgeted a very minimal budget just to improve this unit, knowing that there's going to be, you know, other things we're going to see when we get up close to this. Like, all right, like these two pictures are great examples, right? What you have here is this room seems to be fine, right? But then you got this curtain, right? We do not supply curtains. We do not supply window treatments of any kind for these tenants, right? Because if we do that, as soon as they break, these are like shitty little $10 things, right? As soon as they break those, right, they'll be calling us. We have to replace it, right? So we just don't provide any window treatments, right? So we're going to have to send in the team. They're going to have to remove that stuff, patch up the holes, things of that nature, right? So for this vacant unit, I have gone ahead and estimated about five thousand dollars, right? Five grand. And here's just another, like, just like a little bit of sloppy work they did, right? So <laughs> you got the hardwood floors, which look pretty good, okay? Now you got the all the woodwork, which is nice original woodwork, right? Now it's uh, it's like this oak-ish type color, okay? Fine, whatever. I like to go white uh, because this is very dated. However, sometimes we will leave them if it's if it's in good condition. But just to show you that the current owner just does some sloppy type work, right? What you have here, this is toe uh, shoe molding, toe molding, whatever you want to call it, and they put up white toe molding. Uh, White shoe, right? They put up white shoe, but they got a brown floor and brown woodwork. That just looks fucking stupid, right? So if uh, I could tell how stupid that is from here, your tenants are going to think the same, right? So you can't leave crap like that, right? You can't have toe molding. You can't have your shoe be the, a different color th than the floor and the trim, right? That's just sloppy stuff. And then we're going to need some love in this kitchen, right? Like I think this is like a... 
I feel like that's, from what I'm seeing, it looks kind of like a purple color to me, right? That's not going to fly. We can't have purple trim, okay? That's not going to work, right? So just cosmetically, we're just going to spruce this unit up because everything just looks dated, right? Get rid of the datedness of this unit. And then we should have no issue renting it, okay? So when we get that unit fixed up, both of these units are two bed, one bath. We're going to rent that bad boy for seven fifty. The other unit is currently being rented for 600 They put a tenant in there in February of 2020, so they're going to be good until February of 2021. Now, the market rent for that unit, of course, is going to be able to go up to 750 as well, but... You know, you don't want to immediately increase that, right? There ain't nothing wrong with renting one unit for 750 the other unit for 600 until that tenant naturally turns. Or we'll probably just do, like, small increases every single year, right? What you don't want to do is get your good-paying tenant to move out in February. You don't want that to happen, right? That's in a couple months from now. The idea is to keep that booty in this unit to keep that rent coming in, right? Keep the cash flow coming in, okay? Are you a lender? If so... Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So, as far as price, the price is fair. If you got to pay $69.9 for this property, there is no issue with that. But I'm going to try to get you a little discount, $65. And then, of course, $5K just sprucing up that other empty unit cosmetically before we put our $750 tenant in there. So $70K all in. $1,350 comes in the door. I anticipate an average expense of $749 going out the door, leaving you with an NOI of $601 a month on average, just a little over seven grand for the year. We pick it up, get a loan, right? 25% of that $65,000 purchase price, that's only going to be $16,250. Bank will loan you the other $48,750. Then you got to toss in that 5G's cash after all that's said and done. This would net out a 22.5% ROI, brother. Right now, so we're looking at a nice two unit property. 22.5% coming in, and you're only about $21,000 out of pocket. I know you have a bundle of cash for your first round of acquisitions, 165 k right? So you're going to be rolling with, like, what, $144,000 after we take this deal down, and then we'll be able to move right on to deal number two, which I'm going to make for you right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.